and I'm gonna join. Okay. Hey everybody. We're just giving you a chance to join and we're gonna be starting our show in like a minute, minute or two. We are geek culture. Gonna turn the fan off. Need this room to be hot. Dale McCollum is watching. That's great, Dale. Wish you were here, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we went much simpler. Uh, it was a little bit of a thing because we uh, Geek Culture Central is at my home, and um, and uh, so we were trying to record downstairs, but I got a mess of children, so it's kind of going to be a little bit uh, interesting. How's it sound? Oh, so it still gets a good portion. Of yeah, it sounds fine. Okay, cool. So welcome to the show. I'm Jason. I'm Paul. And you're watching the Geek Culture Podcast or listening to or however you're viewing this. I'm not really sure. Uh, we are a live interactive podcast where if you have any questions or any comments or links or whatever, we will share them as well. Um, so just, yeah, let's get the show started. <laughs> this is the best way. You can check us out on YouTube. We're at youtube.com slash geekculture. It's G33K, unlike how it's spelled up here. Um, but it's G33K Culture. You can get us at geek.culture on Facebook and all kinds of things. You can follow us. We're starting Instagram. I think we're getting on Twitch. We're doing all the... Yeah. What? Yeah. We got to be hip and with it. We're going to be on Twitch? Yeah. We're on Twitch sometimes. <laughs> we're on, we've already been on Twitch. But um, I'm, I'm Twitter. I'm sorry. I'm at Twitter. Oh, so okay. Doing, we do the Twitter. I oh, think yeah. We made a Twitter account back in like 2013. Yeah, but the only time Twitter posts, it's when I post a video on YouTube and then it auto posts auto -post to Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's still a thing um, because uh, PlayStation actually just disassociated themselves with the Facebook thing. I don't know if you noticed that. Did you ever link your account to Facebook on no. PlayStation? So PlayStation. <laughs> so that's place, why my picture is a lemon. That's fair. That's how my daughter always knows when Uncle Paul is on. Uncle Paul's playing a game. What is he playing? Um, and soon she's gonna learn to read better. Wow, are you mocking your daughter? I am because she always wants to play games with you. Um, I'm your cool uncle. Can we play Red Dead with Paul? I'm like, no, nah, I don't have PlayStation Plus. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like the only reason I still have it is so she can't play with you. Uh, <laughs> Um, but they had a, they disassociated themselves with Facebook. I don't know what it was, but you can't link your Facebook account anymore to that. Um, that's weird. Yeah, it's really strange. It's happened recently or probably over the last month. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, but also on my PlayStation, I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus. <sighs> Me too. Trans not on my PlayStation. Um, not on your PlayStation? Mm. What are you watching it on? Um, on my friends. Your friends' PlayStation? Yeah. You don't have your own PlayStation? I have my own PlayStation, but I don't have Disney Plus. Oh, you're watching somebody else's Disney Plus? Yes. Gotcha. So, um, let me throw a number at you. <laughs> um, did you see how many subscribers they had the first day? What, it was is, like is that some 7 million or... 10. 10 million? 10 million people subscribed the first day. 10 million. The first day. And when people complain about not being able to... Um, see uh, Disney Plus for the first half of the day because I didn't. I checked all the time. I had this cute little picture of Mickey, and uh, it seems like we're the Disney Plus show, but we're not. I'm sorry. It's just new and fresh and awesome. Yeah, I mean it's it's everything. We were coming out at the same time, you know. As Disney Plus, Plus and I Disney mean, were like this. Right. So Disney, come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so with Disney Plus, uh, it was down for the first half of the day for a lot of people. They're having issues and people complaining. You know, it's just going to happen. Like I said, you have 10 million subscribers. That's not all the people because you just learned 10 million people subscribe, but more than 10 million people are watching. <laughs> so it's, it's not like only 10 million people are watching this at one time. We have it on like three or four devices in my house right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got to think that we have all these people watching in my home alone uh, and then times that by the 10 million. I'm one of the 10 million. Uh, but four people in my house watch it. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? Um, well, I, I mean, what all what all is on it that you uh, really like? Uh, professional pen. Um, on Disney Plus? Yeah. Everything. Uh, <laughs> it's the, uh, I don't get the Lady of Your Stuff. 
Um, I, we were older by the time, like, uh, That's So Raven and Hannah Montana and all that kind of stuff came out. So that's, like, maybe my kids will watch that. Or maybe Sam, that's more of her thing. Um, but I'm excited about, like... <laughs> I'm excited about uh, literally everything else because I, I mean, I'll watch Clarissa explains it all because I love that show. I mean, it's got Rebels on it. It's got like some of the newer. Uh, it's got all like Clone Wars, if, all the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, if the you, newest cartoon, whatever that's the Resistance or something. If you look up Star Wars alone, like if you go section by section, there's so many freaking Star Wars. The Star Wars, it's like everything, shows and movies, and it's not even it's not even all the stuff that's on there. Hey, Brandon, how's it going, brother? Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. Um, so, but the Disney Plus, yeah, I'm, well, I'm excited about all the old shows. So the first thing I did was I went to the episode list, and I just scrolled down, I went through A through Z, and I had to make sure that I found Tailspin, because I love Tailspin. <laughs> Tailspin. I, I love that show. Oh, ooh, that, well, that's, that is, like, a lot of stuff from my childhood is on there. Um, yeah. Uh, Flight of the Intruder. I don't know if you ever watched that. Yeah, well, I heard uh, movie well, I, where like a kid finds a spaceship and it's got like this yeah eyeball that comes yep. down and looks like it's the thing from uh, Star Wars that comes out of the I always forget what Job of the Hutt's Palace. I always forget the name of that movie. And then uh, uh, update, yes, the Black Cauldron is on it. <laughs> <laughs> update. <laughs> Let me throw a number at you. <laughs> um, what else? What else did I see? Gargoyles. Uh, Heck yeah. Gargoyles is on it. The Spider-Man show is on it. But -na 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 -na. <laughs> X-Men's on it. Um, every like Fox Kids cartoon, I didn't see Eat the Cat, so I'm kind of bummed about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I don't think it's all the Fox Kids. It Although be. some of the stuff like from what our childhood, a lot of the stuff on Fox that we remember from like being on in the afternoon right. were actually from other, a bunch of other different networks. So Eek might not have, like, a lot of them were AB, were actually ABC cartoons that were on, like, Saturdays, but then they'd be on in the, syndicated in the week on Fox. Um, they also had Doug, but, because Doug, uh, Doug was bought by Disney at some point, which I don't remember that in my childhood, they must have just snuck it in, but at one point it just became a Disney show. Uh, I did not check to see if that had the original episodes from Nickelodeon on it, um, because oh, yeah. from what I heard, it's Nickelodeon, somebody just partnered with Netflix. I don't know if you've... I've heard rumblings about it. I don't know. Uh, somebody's yeah. upset about the Disney thing, and they're like, well, guess what? Let's partner. Because Disney's like, hey, we take Hulu. So I think somebody, maybe Nickelodeon or one of those shows, is uh, partnering with Netflix. It could be total bullshit. Um, but I don't know. Sorry, Ma, I didn't say the F word, though. I said freaking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but Disney uh -huh. Plus has been amazing. Uh, there's... There's just tons of stuff on it that you can watch, and it's just, uh, yeah, like, like I said last week, 7,000 shows, 500 movies. They have all the stuff listed, but it's not um, necessarily all there yet. If you click on it, it'll tell you coming November 6th or whatever, 2020, uh, because they don't have all the rights to their own stuff, which I always thought was ludicrous, um, but that's how things are. I mean, that's licensing. Which is insane. I mean, <laughs> they probably licensed a lot of stuff out for years, but... Just before they even realized that they were going to make a uh, right. streaming service. Right. Uh, what about you, though? You've been watching... You watched um, The Mandalorian? I watched The Mandalorian. I have not. And the new, the next episode comes out today. Right. Today, November 15th, if you're watching this uh, live. So, uh, the first episode, it's amazing. It's one of the it's one of the most Star Wars-y Star Wars things I've ever seen. And it's a John Favreau? It's John Favreau, okay. yeah. Um, who... Thank you. Yeah, thanks, John Favreau. Thank you. thank you for like I haven't watched Mandalorian, but we were talking about this earlier. John Favreau, we should just thank him for uh, Iron for, Man. for geek culture, for essentially just making being a nerd, having shirts like this exist, uh, and it just being totally acceptable. I mean, yep. it's just thank you, John Favreau. Uh, <laughs> Iron Man's also my favorite, so him being kind of uh, people argue it started with like X Men or it went back to blah blah blah. But it really didn't. Like, Iron Man. Those when, X-Men movies were shit. When Iron Man great. came out, they were like, well, we're going to make a superhero movie, and we're going to actually make the superhero look like the superhero. Right. And then we're going to give it a budget, and we're going to... And he's not like... Like, Iron Man could have been all black <coughs> and looked like something that you wouldn't see in a comic book, but you'd see out of, like, a tech journal. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah something like... Something. like, like too realistic. And they're like, yeah, let's make it super realistic. Yeah, because every nothing could no, be fantasy. No, right. stop. Right. Like, 
Nobody was ever happy with the X-Men costumes. Ever. No, because they're all like, hey, let's wear blue, ridiculous jumpsuits. But before things. that, it was even... Oh, well, in the comics? Or no, 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 in the movie. In the movie, yeah. Well, in the original movies, they wore black. They looked like Nazi, like leather Nazi. Well, that's Nazi what I'm saying. They had, like, and they had like the little thing. Yeah, you're like, what? And then in uh, first class, they started doing the blue and yellow, but they were right. still just uniforms. Like, they weren't wearing their costume. Yeah. Which, I mean, I guess you can let them... <clears throat> That's a that's a lot of them, I guess. But with Iron Man, yeah, they didn't they didn't pull any punches. It was uh, it was a fantastic uh, movie and series and all that. Uh, well, maybe not third one. The biggest thing is with Wolverine. Like they at the end of one of the Wolverine movies, the second Wolverine movie, he opens up a box and it has his mask from the comic again. Right, right. And you're like, oh, he's finally gonna wear it. No, no, you never <laughs> see it again. <laughs> you don't. Uh, and then the whole Deadpool debacle, and yeah, that was, um... The oh, yeah. The Wolverine movies, uh, uh, other than Logan, were kind of disappointing. I was not a super fan. Or Origins was okay, and that's the one that people crap on a lot. because uh, it's got the Deadpool in it. <laughs> right, right. But, um, which is terrible, uh, but... You just like Lee Schreiber. He's really good. Um, <laughs> he's really good. Uh, but, but like, the, the Silver Samurai, right, that's his name? That, yeah. that one was... Because like, it wasn't big, the Silver Samurai. I'm a big a giant robot. Yeah, I'm an, an old Japanese man that controls this tech robot thing, and it's like, I don't remember. I'm not a huge Silver yeah. Samurai guy, but I don't remember it being like Silver that. Silver Samurai is all of a sudden a mech. <laughs> What's, which is very Japanese. It's a very it, Japanese thing to it's do. True. And it's true, and it's cool, but like, don't, don't. But then Logan just absolutely knocked it out of the park. I mean, that movie. Logan was good. It's so good. Uh, I, I, I still had some problems with it. Like, I would have liked to have seen like a real villain yeah i would love to see green like who who would have been great to be in that movie um that we just talked about Sabretooth. just leave schreiber <laughs> <man. It's all laughs> like just put him in it why yeah, wasn't he why wasn't he the bad guy it would have been absolutely perfect uh it the movie was really great uh they really got you in the or really any got Wolverine you. villain like maybe not any well not any but yeah i mean but they didn't pick any <laughs> They right. didn't pick. They picked the gang, the right. Reavers or whatever the hell they are. Yeah. Um. So. There you go. He keeps going out of the shot. I was like, hey, <laughs> what I was saying. You get half. Yeah. You get half of my face. This will be our new thumbnail. Um. <laughs> we're horrible at this. good. You just smile at one another. You don't need. You don't need to see the other half of my face. Um. <laughs> All yeah, the views are on. Brutal freaking light right there. My face. That's right. Uh, so yeah. Yep. So Disney. Disney. And The Mandalorian. Fantastic. Yep, episode two comes out uh, November 15th, which we'll is today. We'll probably talk about it again next week. Next week, I know. <laughs> God. Then people are really going to think. The Mandalorian <laughs> update show. We're the Disney Plus show. Um, thank you for watching us, by the way, if you are currently and not watching Disney Plus right now. Right. Because that must take a terrible amount of I'd be strength. watching Disney Plus. Yeah, I would too. I think my kids are actually watching it downstairs. I'm kind of jealous of them. Um, so, I mean, this is great. So, uh, Jason mentioned my shirt earlier. Mm -hmm. So, some people like to wear shirts like that. It's true. People do like to wear sports shirts. I do too. You do. You're Sometimes. not. Yeah. You're not wearing your um, your one shirt. I don't know if we have time to talk about it at this moment, but we will. Um, yeah, we're gonna come back to it because we are at time. So we're gonna go and take a break, and we will be back in like two minutes. <laughs> if you are unfamiliar with this point of the show, this is where you can put your ad in, and, and I should have set up the other thing, but I didn't. Yeah, we're, <laughs> this is an awesome. Did production. you set up our Patreon? I. Just give us money. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, somebody, <laughs> I'll set it up at some point. Thanks to the thumbs up. Stormy. Hey, Stormy. Disney Plus is on right now. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> look at all those reactions that we're getting. Hearts Whoa. and all that love. Uh, thank you for all the love. I saw an angry face. I did too. One. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, that looked like a guy was eating a strawberry. Um, but yes, Disney Plus is amazing, so you're right. Uh, but yes, this is that point where we would have commercials and sponsorship and everything. So if you'd like to sponsor our show, this is where you would come in and uh, and do the thing. And but when, when we come back, I just want to hope that you're ready for some football. You're ready for some football. 
We are our stupid football and team. cry babies. That's true. Are you a PC baby? Sponsor us at. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could find us at. Uh, actually, you know what? You should. You have the thing up. Why don't you put in um, the email? Update how you pay for it. Netflix is trying to charge me. I see what you're doing, Netflix. I just I just got a uh, charge decline for Netflix because I'm not paying for you now. I don't want to. Stop trying to charge me. I haven't had Netflix in like six months. What is it? Uh, it's going to be the G33K culture at gmail.com. If you want to have any, uh, if you have questions about sponsorships or you want to see us somewhere or you want to book us on your thing or whatever you want to do, we are here for you. So thank you for watching our show. And uh, we are just currently on a break. We're just, this is uh, the point where you would have a, some memory just went off for me. Jennifer Vasquez. Hey, Jen, if you're watching. Um, those are thumbs up and smiles. So thanks for the thumbs up and smiles. There's, uh, there's our email, so if you want to get a hold of us there, you can, with any questions or comments or concerns, <laughs> or booking or sponsorship or whatever you need, <laughs> or just, just send it our concern. Our concern. Are you concerned about me? Are you concerned about Paul? Who knows? <laughs> Freaking Mickey and the Roadster Racer stuck in my head. It's because I haven't been watching it. My daughter is obsessed with that. The Disney, she loves Mickey Mouse, so when she wakes up in the morning with me, it's like Mickey Mouse, Mickey the Roaster Racers, Minnie's Boutique, and like another Mickey Mouse show all in a row. And then they play this for like three straight hours. Right. And um, first things Dale says is, what's up, Stormy? God. Thanks, Dale. <laughs> You're the best. Well, actually, the first thing he said is he sent a smiley face. He didn't say, I don't care about his smiley face. Um, okay, so yes, we are back. Uh... We wanted to have a quick conversation, and we are not normally uh, like a football show per se, but we all we like sports. We're, we're gonna nerds. talk a little bit about everything. We are, we're nerds, and we and we yeah um, right. But we, I don't need that yet. There's a little bit of everything, and when I was uh, it's funny because when I was on um, uh, Buddy and Kenny's show, which you did too, yep. um, Kenny was so excited because then he asked me about sports. He's like, "You guys have sports?" And and before, this is before recording. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, great, I've never talked to Buddy about sports. So, hey, Kenny and Buddy, uh, the state of real, you should go <laughs> listen to them on The Goat. Uh, they're good dudes. We've been on the show a few times, and uh, you should definitely check them out. Kenny and Buddy on the state of real. Uh, Stormy, you all love me. Oh, replying to Dale. That's, okay, great. <laughs> anyway, so, football. I'm wearing a Patriot shirt. He's not wearing a Steelers shirt, even though he is a Steelers fan. And if you watched football last night, that would be Thursday, November 14th, if you're not watching this live. And I didn't. Apparently I, I missed something. I had to call him and tell him about it before the show, and I was like, hey, we have to talk about this, because I woke up to this news, because I didn't see it. So on Thursday night football, the Steelers were trailing 21-7, to uh, final seconds of the game. Uh, your QB, which would be uh, Mason Rudolph, God, just forgive me, I don't know everything and with every player. Um, but Mason Rudolph, uh, our backup QB, right, well, got into a scuffle with a player called Miles Garrett, and what happened was Miles Garrett uh, pulled, uh, I can't believe, Mason Rudolph's helmet off of his head, popped it off his head, and then overhand swung it and cracked <laughs> him in the skull. So when <laughs> he cracked him in the head, you can kind of see uh, Mason Rudolph back up. He like, grabs his head. He he he's, right. like puts his arms up. He's he's not like visibly injured. The moment that happens, a giant man named Marquise Pouncey, if we've never seen him before, oh, he's the center. <laughs> Pouncey. Center comes up and just punches uh, Miles Garrett, like, through his helmet. Like, you could just... I would never punch somebody wearing a helmet. He didn't even think about it. So he blasts them, and then, uh, like, they're, like, scuffling, and he brings the guy to the ground, and then Pouncey just starts kicking... I didn't mention this. Just starts kicking him in the head. I mean, he's just blasting this dude in the head as he's on the ground, and everybody comes in and breaks it up. But I mean, he uh, the overhand swing thing. Um, it was just completely uncalled for. Your team's up twenty-one to seven. You're gonna win the game. What? What? Yeah, are you at thinking? this point, like, what? What are you mad about? Right. And you're gonna hit friggin' helmet. Yeah, you just use the helmet as weapon instead. Exactly. So he literally just you should watch it. He hit like I do my chops overhand. Bam! Hit the guy in the head. Um, yeah, it's like I didn't hit him with my helmet. <laughs> yeah, and then you just watch. It's not helmet to helmet. And then you watch Pouncey come up and uh, and just blast him. So there's uh, I got a quote um, uh, via ESPN through Brooke 
Brooke Pryor, I think her name is. Anyway, she got a quote from Marquise Pouncey. It says, at this point, it's bigger than football. It's protection. He could have killed him. What if he hit him in the temple? And that was his response to what happened when he started punching and kicking the guy in the head. Because uh, he's right. At that point, you're just... I mean, he. what if he did? What if he cracked that guy's skull open? What if he killed him? What if he severely brain damaged him? Uh, you, you're in the NFL. Like you, you got to think bigger than that. People complain about kneeling and all this other nonsense and these guys are just black blasting. also like they're all concerned about their concussions and right what that's going to do to them in the long run right um and there's also a couple other quotes there's a quote from des bryant uh which is great because des bryant's got something to say uh it just says he's done for the year uh that was a quote on his twitter there's another twitter from james harrison if you're a Steeler fan then you know who james harrison is um that's assault at the least six months in jail on the street now add the weapon, and that's at least a year, right? And all these guys are calling for this dude. He's like, uh, there's a bunch of other players are saying if this happened uh, to so and so, or if this happened at a certain point, he's like, he should have just been arrested. They should have took the guy off in cuffs. And, and I mean, that's talking about the guy that hit him with the helmet. Yeah, that's assault. I mean, he he. If you did that, if we were outside right now and I picked a rock up, bashed you in the head. With it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the audio clips from that helmet. That would be amazing. <laughs> I hope that. You're right! Crap. Oh my god. Because it's the QB's helmet, so he's mic'd up. <laughs> oh my god! Brilliant, right. Stormy. Stormy, thank you for that. So it's, he should be mic'd up, so I would love... <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. You got... Yeah! That that raises... Thank you. So this is why I'm glad we do the interactive thing. That raises a fantastic point. Is you will get to hear all the stuff that happened between those two men. So if he did say something negative, or he did say uh, something to the guy that might have not been... I mean, because... Uh, Mason Rudolph, the QB, was having a terrible game. Uh, he, so maybe, uh, maybe he said something just kind of nasty, and then the guy just got sick of it. I mean, it's the end of the game. But when you're up 21-7, to what are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, you should just be like, just be like, oh, we're, we're winning. <laughs> Who cares what, you know. Right. I don't know. You get. Hi, Ashley. People just get, uh. It's a, you know, it's a sport with a lot of testosterone. <laughs> All right. That, that, that's, that's Paul. Thank you for Paul's hot take. <laughs> Join us next time. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's like a old reunion. We got John Bullinger here. Ashley Miller's here. Stormy Smith is here. If you don't want me to say your names, then I apologize. <laughs> but you're, in my, <laughs> you're in my chat, so at least you're, you're there. Here. Uh, yes, if you're not watching the clip, and then Dale, if you could pull that clip and then send it to the chat. Yeah, uh, you can do that. That's what we needed you for, Dale. So I appreciate it. Um, so, <laughs> so yes, put the clip up. If you haven't seen it, go look. If you just Google NFL and. Go to their thing. It's all quotes. It's all things about it. It's actually insane. Um, it's it's just really weird. Testosterone, right? Yes, it was testosterone. He's like, I'm a man, yo man. Never <laughs> be mad at you. You wouldn't know, Stormy. And uh, is yeah. that is that actually gonna lead into our other conversation, or what? Are we, are we gonna go? Are we talking about PC babies currently, or going to be, or do you want to save that for the next part? Uh, we might want to just save that for the next part. Okay. So, currently, we are going to do something. I don't think Paul has something planned on for this year. Are we doing another quiz? It's quiz time. It's quiz time, everyone. And the lighting is going really weird. Yeah, what? but I don't think it's the light. I think it's just how your it's, camera's well, adjusting. Yeah, things. stop focusing. Hey. Oh, it's because well, you're it's doing the that. White yeah, paper, yeah, keep the paper down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I don't want you to see it. Keep the goddamn paper down. Maybe I'm a man now. You nice. Know. Well, if you are, then you... Well, then how about that testosterone? Part? Yeah, yeah. So keep a... Yeah, how's the testosterone for you? Uh, <laughs> you making just... you want to punch people? Hit somebody in the head with a helmet? I and mean, that's how I feel all the time with testosterone. I just... I'm just fighting the urge to just punch Jason all the time. I know, I want to rip... Only Jason. I want to rip his glasses off and hit him with them. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a quiz. If you all right, if, so if you didn't watch last time, it's a quiz. I'm terrible at it. Uh, when does this? And one I about? literally left it sitting right here. You you put the paper down. I literally left it sitting right here, where Jason could see all the answers. Yeah, but I'm no cheater. I don't think he even noticed. Oh, the the answers? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no. 
So, I'm on the screen. Why would I look? The quiz. I know. He can see himself. He's not looking at anything else. He's not looking else. at anything else. I always um, have the fight to urge to punch Jason. Thank you. And yeah. you were the security guy. He, he, was, <laughs> he was the security guy. And I have some really awesome pictures from the old days uh, where John's either holding people back or kind of looking at me while I'm... John was a, uh, an amazing security guy, but I gave him so much shit anytime he didn't do anything. Like, if I thought that people were, even if they weren't even too close, I would yell at him because he would stand there and just kind of let it happen, you know? And no, nobody ever got to me or did anything like that, um, but I, he was like my Earl Hefner. I gave him a ton of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going back to uh, Disney. Okay, Disney Plus. On, on the, your, quiz, your quiz this week is on Disney... Uh, Movie soundtracks or the the songs from Disney movies. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you the name of this <coughs> one. Okay. Who sang it? And I'll tell you the movie. And you got to tell me the movie. Okay. You don't get multiple choices this week. But That's I right. will be. I can give you some hints. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to not read the chat because some of you might give the answer away. Yeah. So I don't help him. But you can put your answer, along. You yeah, you can put your answers in the chat. I will just stare into my beautiful eyes like I'm doing right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I can't even see. Look at this. Um there we go. Eyes wide open. Okay. So first song. First song. Colors of the Wind by Judy Coon. It's so quiet, I can hear so my, son, my son swing downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to be... Uh, most of these movies are going to be ones that we know, okay. but not like the super obvious ones. I was hoping right. this would actually be one of the more obvious ones. Colors of the Wind? Yes. Uh, and for the most part, I'm going to be saying who sang them in the movie, not necessarily who wrote them. Oh, okay. So, so what, like, if I picked... If I, if, like, if I did... Um, uh, Something like <laughs> why can't I think of any of the any of the songs from uh, like the Circle of Life or something? Right, like that. Frozen. Or, uh, uh, well, the Circle of Life frozen. even in the movie was sang by Elton John. <sighs> Colors. Okay, what is it called again? Colors of the Wind. Okay, your hint is this is Donald Trump's nickname for Elizabeth Warren. Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said, like, it's topical because Thanksgiving or something. No. She didn't have anything to do with that. You don't know. <laughs> have you ever heard a wolf cry into the blue cord moon or ask the grinning bobcat? Why? My God, is everybody in the... Look at Pocahontas, Pocahontas. <laughs> writing the lyrics to it. At least I know you're not looking. Um... All right, the next one. That's messed up. We had to use a Trumpism to, to give me the answer. This one is The Bare Necessities by Dr. John. Uh, Sang by Dr. John. Jungle Book. The original or the remake? The original? Wait, wait, who sings it? Dr. John. And you know Dr. John. Do I? Yeah, because he has one of your favorite songs. About stealing another guy's woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the original. It's not. It's the remake. <laughs> <What? laughs> yeah. He must have been... I mean, he just died recently. Mm -hmm. Like, this year. So, it's one of the last things he did. The Bare Necessities. That's weird. Uh, yeah, and... Oh, but who made that remake? John Favreau. That's right. <laughs> of course he did. Oh, Dale said we got out of sync. So if you're watching this, we apologize if it's out of sync. Um, got to get our money's worth of Disney+. Plus. Thanks you for joining us, Stormy. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> if it's starting to get out of sync, I apologize, everyone. Just listen to the audio. It's fantastic. Why does that have to happen? I don't know. It, it, it's, it did that last time. It's probably about halfway through. I don't know if it's a... Uh, it can't be an internet issue. My, I, have, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'll get an extender or something. We'll see if it, that changes it. Um, but yeah, anyway. So back okay. to the, uh, the question. Uh, the Time of Your Life by Randy Newman. The Time of Your Life? It's Randy Newman. So it's Toy Story then? My hint is that it's not Toy Story. <laughs> Randy Newman did more? Yeah, he did. It is Pixar. Time of Your Life? A pic 
Pixar one. Mm. Mm. And if I remember correctly, I believe James Woods is the bad guy. In a Pixar movie? Yeah. The only thing I can think about for James Woods is, uh, sure is. is Hercules. Let me double check that. <laughs> okay, right. Paul's double checking that. Um, Time of Your Life, it's called? Yep. I mean, yeah, there's a hope you have it. <laughs> yeah, that's the Green it's Day not song. Bad. That's the only thing I can think of is the Green Day song. Time of Your Life. Um, oh, no. It's not. It's Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey's the bad guy in a Pixar yeah. movie? Yep. What Pixar movie is Kevin Spacey the bad guy in? Uh, I don't know. It's a bug's life. Oh. I never would have got that in a million years. Yeah, I always thought it would. I never thought knew that that was Kevin Spacey. I, I like Bugs Life. I always thought it was James Woods. <laughs> Bugs Life's a good movie. I really it like is. Ants. I liked it. Oh. <clears throat> it's Ants is better. Whoa. Okay, so that's something that we, I was just about to say. Uh, what is better? Because I, I, when I was thinking about it, I'm like, I really like Ants. But the, uh, the Woody Allen thing, it, it weighs on me pretty heavy halfway through that movie. He's so... <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. He's so something. Um, I I like the concept more. I like the yeah. Bugs Life is a really good movie, but we should. Be but also, it's not um, a Bugs Life <clears throat> doesn't. Well, I mean, Ants isn't such a kids movie. It's it it was made like like it was made with like kids in mind to watch it, but not really right. pay attention to it. Yeah, um, like bees. Or B, B a movie. movie. A B movie with Seinfeld. I've um, never seen that. <clears throat> it's, it's got its moments, but it's not good. Uh, a woman falls in love with the B. And um, yeah, that's I mean, the best way to describe it. Uh, but we should make a poll. We're going to put a poll up about what's better movie, Bugs Life or Ants. And we'll Ooh. see uh, what people think. And then we'll talk about it next week. Uh, because we have to put Disney in every episode. <laughs> 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 All right, next one is Snuff Out the Light. By Eartha Kitt. <clears throat> what about the Beavis and Seinfeld? Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Um, Snuff Out the Light by Eartha Kitt. Yep. Uh, ones what? that we would know? Mm hmm. Came out in the 2000s? Oh, yeah. This is one of my all time favorite Disney movies. Really? Mm hmm. In the 2000s. I babysat your kids one time, and I made them watch this movie. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember. In the 2000s. No? I no idea. It's got David Spade in it. That should... Th what movies? What? David Spade and Earth the Kid. David Spade and Eartha Kitt. What movie is David Spade John in? John Goodman. I'm totally blanking. And I can't think of Putty's name from Seinfeld. But he's also in this. And he gets his own spinoff. What's that guy? Why can't I think of his name? John Goodman in... In, in Putty? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about... Um, Oh my god, uh, you're talking about Joe Swanson. Yeah. <laughs> Every character. What's his real name? Every character. No, that's the part two of the quiz. The same the actor. And the actor that plays these characters. Um, Tick. Um, yeah. Whatever. Why don't I know this? I don't know. You should know this one. I know, and it's like, uh, David Spade, uh, and everybody's listening, and it's like, you're an idiot. Yeah. Um, I am an idiot. <laughs> that's, that's the point of this, the spotlight act. Yeah, literally. Um, I can't, I'm totally fucking blanking. The Emperor's New Groove! Oh my god, yeah! Friggin', my kids watched, I have the friggin' double DVD. We watched that, and then we watched, what's his name, Kronk? Kronk's New Groove. Kronk, yep. Kronk. Spoon is not his name. Um, <laughs> why can't I think of that guy's name? I don't know. You're just gonna draw a blank on all these. I, I totally am, I know. Part of Your World by Judy Benson. Oh, uh, Little Mermaid. Nice. Yeah. My daughter loves that movie. <laughs> Go the Distance by Roger Bart. And I'm also going to give you the, the actual, because he did it, his own version of it. Mm-hmm. Michael Bolton. 
Go the distance. Go the distance? Mm -hmm. 2000s? Yeah. This was before he did Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, damn. I love that. If you have not seen that, <laughs> go watch him, The Lonely Island, and uh, Michael Bolton. And hey, Matt Knowles. What's up? Matt Knowles from Heirs of Acelia Door and the like. Uh, if Once again, if you got a link to all your stuff, I know your Patreon. PC babies! Um, I know if, <laughs> if you got a link to all your stuff, just throw it up on there and your, uh, your Kickstarter is doing well. So um, I'm, I'm, those guys are doing great. Uh, you should definitely check them out. Uh, we'll have links and all that stuff up again. Um, what's it called? Go the Distance. Go the Distance. Turbo. I don't know. Go back to like the 90s. It's in the 90s? Mm -hmm. It's a remake? Did, is, it a re, is the Michael Bolton thing the remake? I'm confused. It's not a remake of anything. No, he did the, he wrote the music, but the voice in the movie was uh, Roger Bork. But Michael Bolton had like the radio release version with him singing it. Oh, my God. I, I, that's rough. I mean, I was hoping this would be difficult, but I have no fucking clue. Go distance. It's Finding Nemo. Nope. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. I'll give you a hint. Because of the villain. Hercules. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you've gotten three right. Yay. You got two more. Yay, two more. All right, let's knock these out. Uh, if you get one more right, I'll let you pass with a 50%. Yeah! All Just right. like in high school. That's right, because the last one will be worth double points. Double points. <laughs> the World's Greatest Criminal Mind by Vincent Price. Vincent Price? What was Vincent Price in? Where he was the world's greatest criminal mind. He was the world's greatest criminal mind? Mm -hmm. He was the voice of the villain in this. Yep. Uh, and for you local yokels, you can get $5 credit. That's right. They're doing a Beard of Brown Coat. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, they're doing a partner with Beard of Brown Coat. So if you can go check out Beard of Brown Coat at 500 Southwest 10th Street, Suite 200. And I say that because I work there. And uh, go check them out. Anyway, um, so what was the song? Uh, Vincent Price did... He was the villain? Yep. In a 90s movie? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> like early. A Disney 90s. movie. Yeah, probably fairly early in the 90s. Um, yeah. The world's greatest criminal mind. What was a movie that had the... Who looks for criminals? I shouldn't help you with this one. Who looks for criminals? Yeah, that's, that's all I'm getting. The at. police? Mm-hmm. So there was a police movie from an, a Disney police movie in the 90s? <laughs> what was that face? So no. no. A oh, uh, who friend Roger Rabbit? That's <laughs> not that. I have no idea. The Great Mouse Detective. Oh, I would have never guessed that. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever seen that movie. Really? Yeah, I know the name, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, man, it's... Uh, well, I haven't watched it since I was a kid, but I remember liking it. It's as probably a, kid. a classic. All right, and the last one. The probably the hardest one. When it's You Matthew. Wish Upon a Star by Cliff Edwards. Pinocchio. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> and even that one, I'm like, wait a minute. It's yeah, Pinocchio? You're, like, you're like, wait, hold on. And, and I was waiting for you to be like, no, that's Peter Pan. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I win! 50%. Da -da 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 -da. 60. 60. Ooh, I'm one with 60%. Because it's double points. Double points. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's a... Well, we got a couple more minutes. Um, is there anything that you would like to add before we take our little break? Um... Not really. No. <laughs> we're so professional here. Okay, so we're going to be back in just a couple minutes. At this point, like I said before, this is where you throw in your sponsorship and all that kind of fun stuff. So you can find us at the g 33 kculture at gmail.com. Um, and you can send us all that information and we'll get back to you. 
Um, we'll have a Patreon set up too if you'd like to help us do that because we have to have real jobs to be able to afford the lights for this place and all this other stuff that we do, clothing and food. Um, so if you'd like to help us out, that's great. Yeah, uh, I mean, at this point, we're just taking whatever you guys put in, we're going to put back into yeah. whatever we're making. Yeah, we literally... See, even my hand does it. My hand's so, so white. white. Yeah. Jesus. That the, the screen has to change. It does. It has to... Yeah. <laughs> I can't anyway. Like, what is that? Get it out of my face. It's so bright. <laughs> yeah, so at this point is when you could throw up your ads for all your kind of stuff and like that and see if it... Nope. All right, so... Uh... <laughs> If you're not watching live, I just put my hand up to the camera and nothing changed. <laughs> so those freckles. Yeah, on the they bottom absorb, of my hand. They absorb the light. Yeah, I have none on the bottom of my hand because you normally Shut up! You normally don't. Um, and I'm covered in them. Anyway, yeah, so this is at the point where you put up your ad and all that kind of my stuff. My parents are so. going to watch this and I want them to know that they're the reason that I'm so pale. Yes. Thank you. Mom. Yeah, mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. <laughs> mom. Yeah, mom. Alright, so let's go to break. Yeah, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna sit here and entertain everyone. Well, you're on. It's a break. You, I mean, yeah, but if people join, they're not gonna know at this point. I'll send some links and stuff to the chat. So if they're gonna join, you're gonna be like looking at your phone. Yeah, hey everyone, I'm just looking at my phone. Scarlet's still awake down there? Nice. My daughter's asleep. Sounds like the son is asleep as well. Yeah, she does look like she <laughs> she does sleep like a, a dead person. Yeah, so we had to move all the stuff up here because I have my family downstairs. She looks like she fell out of like a fifth story window. Well, she might have. <laughs> she fell from the second floor. All right, let me get some links and all that kind of stuff up. Oh, Peso, you're fine. That is my small dog, because we are a professional group. Right now we're on break if you're just joining us. Uh, at this point is when I would play ads and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any ads or anything or sponsorships you'd like to throw on, just give us a ring. Um, you can find us at the Geek Culture uh, Gmail. It's G33K Culture. Uh, I have a thing up on our page already. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Paul will be just back in a minute, and we will go from there. Do, 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 do. If I could spell that would be awesome. Copy that, throw it in the thing. Come live. Who is live? Good culture. Hey everybody watching. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, Paul will be back in just a minute and we will come back from our break. Do, 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 do. That's a good thumbnail. It is me drinking my drink. <laughs> so that's going to be awesome. I'm going to post our culture. There you go. For everyone looking for our YouTube channel, uh, we are a little bit more active on our Facebook now just because we get more people. I don't know why I have all that, the M there and everything. So I apologize for that link. See if I could just make a better one. Um, I'm really good at this, I promise. I'm a professional. There we go, that should be a better one. Uh, hopefully, if not, then I, once again, I apologize. But we're here just to... Who knows? Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna make a Patreon for us and we'll get all that stuff started. time for a quick little wrap up but we will get it in as fast as we can Let's see if I can find This is just insane. This is what we're talking about, the PC babies. Four girls, that's what it's called. 
It's called Bored Girls. This is the name of that South Park episode. <laughs> it's so good. Let's see if I can find a synopsis. There's a review of it. Uh-oh. Hey, Mac. How's it going, sir? <laughs> Mac Woodring is watching. In case you haven't, whoa, you heard us. You heard us talking about him. I don't know if that would come up before I left, though. Yeah. He's like, hey, you talk about me and your mother. It's your own fault you're transparent, Paul. <laughs> you live in Florida, for crowd's sakes. Go outside. Yeah, you live in Florida. Your dad's been your man. That's the reason I don't go outside. Yeah, your dad's been your man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, thank you for joining us. Hey, maybe it's a good time for your dad to join, because we, <laughs> we're going to talk about South Park. So, <laughs> if you, uh, I don't know if, if, if uh, you watch South Park still currently. Do you still watch South Park? No, not really. Um, okay. I, I kind of wish I did. Uh, the season is on season 23 currently. Uh, season 23 has been just absolutely insane. The first six episodes are about Randy Marsh uh, leaving South Park and starting his own uh, pot farm called Tegrity Farms. And uh, it's been fantastic. They changed the intro, the outro. It's been great. Uh, their show, if you know, uh, is very really topical. Um, so this past episode, uh, it's called Board Girls, which I absolutely loved. A lot of the stuff they did, they they the boys started a board game group, uh, Cartman specifically, and then girls join. Cool. And it's awesome, dude. I, I love it because uh, they just name drop and name drop and name drop, and the whole time I'm just like, I know that game. We play, you know. Um, <laughs> So I nerded out the whole episode, and the girls join, and the boys hate it because the girls are really good at math, and the boys just wanted to be fun and thematic and play, I want to be a Viking. So, um... Who doesn't? Right. So, but the girls just want to math and read the rules and win. Uh, and the boys hate that, so they try to make their own separate thing, and the girls have a bigger group. But that's not the issue that people are having. Hey, Mac. Um, the, <laughs> the issue that people seem to be having is that they negatively, quote-unquote, depicted a transgender person uh, in an athletic competition um, is the best way I can describe it. So essentially what they did is they had, I don't know if you've ever, if you've seen any of the links or anything like that, but uh, PC principal and the vice principal strong woman have children, the PC babies. And that's why it's called, that's why we have the PC babies. PC babies pretty much represent the people that are complaining about this kind of stuff. They just don't get it. Uh, people think that South Park's really rude, and it, it's always just commentary. It's just the way they do it. You just have to read through it. Um, yeah, and it's, I mean, they make fun of everything. Everybody. Everyone. Everybody. So. If they, everybody. Like, things that are well beyond... They're, they're really at the point where they can't shy away from a topic, because it's... Oh, because then they get shit. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, like, what's oh. wrong with these people that you can't even make fun of them? Well, you make fun of everybody, and that's just how they are. So the PC babies thing, essentially what they have is strong woman enters the, the like they have the strong man contest, the world's strongest man. So they have the world's strongest woman. Um, so she answers the contest, she's all like ripped and jacked, she's like, yeah, I'm ready to go, I'm going to win, yada, yada, yada. So a transgender person joins, and I don't even know if that's the correct term. And that's the thing, it's, it's just so stupid that I have to think about the correct term for this person. So this person joins <laughs> see and that's the problem i don't want to be a pc baby about it so this guy is says that he is a woman he became a woman two weeks ago and he wants to join the competition he ends up just absolutely annihilating everyone they have like boxing competitions and he's just knocking women out he's they're doing races and all kinds of stuff it's it's hilarious because it's not like he is dressed like how you would think a woman or the other women in the competition were dressed it was literally Macho Man Randy Savage. He, he <laughs> talked like this. He's like, I'm going to destroy all the other women. Full beard, hat. I mean, the only thing he had was on his wrestling gear was a pink like sports bra. And I think that's what it was supposed to be. It might have just been a part of his gear. And I don't even know. Um, so he just annihilates women. He just talks so much crap to strong women the entire episode. Uh, PC principal finally stands up, which that's his whole thing is like, don't be, you know, any phobic. You, you should accept everyone. And then it makes him enraged. And so, but the, uh, I think she calls herself Heather, Heather something. I can't remember. But the, uh, it turns out that that's strong woman's uh, ex-boyfriend. And when she broke up with him, he said he would do anything he could to get her back. So I guess that's what he's doing now is pretending to be a woman 
so he can crush her in all the competitions and do all this terrible stuff because all he does is mock her the whole episode, talk trash to her. And, and, and they don't want to upset the babies. They have children. They're PC babies. So the dad, PC principal, like backs off because he's like, oh, the guy's like, you're a transphobe and blah, blah, blah. And he keeps giving him grief because he's like, well, maybe this isn't a good idea because it's okay to be accepting of everyone. But with men like him or just, I don't want to say men in general, but it's kind of the case. They're, they're just so much, the athleticism thing is different. Ronda Rousey would break my face off. I'm not going to deny that. There's a lot of professional women athletes that would absolutely destroy me. I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. Not because they're women and I think I'm better than them. I, I'm they, not athletic. But they are, are also athletic enough to compete with other men in their profession. Right. So if you had... <laughs> not just you. Right. But I'm saying, so you have to think these are the best women in the world. So if, I, I couldn't hold a candle to them. But then you have the best men in the world. So you have like guys that are, I mean, you, you have to think like some of these, so you do the strongman competition, even if the biggest woman is six foot four, 250 pounds, the biggest guy is still going to be six foot eight, 450 pounds. Or like with Braun Strowman, who's six foot seven, 385 pounds of muscle. Like that, that, like the thing is, it doesn't come in. So all these people Mark are Henry, right? Literally the world's strongest man. <laughs> so what people took away from this, and I thought the episode was hilarious. Every time he came in, he's like, I'm going to destroy you. Blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, the PC babies accept the fact that yeah, maybe sometimes it's a li- it's not so black and white. Maybe you shouldn't the men sh- or it, it is black and white. So it's just like hey, you should just don't compete. It's not it doesn't make sense. Um, so the internet just has gone crazy. I'm just gonna read you some of the headlines. South Park mocks, mocks trans athletes. Here's what South Park's awful episode on trans athletes gets wrong. Uh, South Park mocks trans athletes. That's from the Hollywood Reporter. Um, here's what South Park's awful episode in trans- <laughs> that's the one I just read but too fat South Park tr- sparks controversy uh, South Park stirs up controversy South Park's episode brutally mocks transgenders well, it did, it did stir up controversy yeah but like transgender it, it but brutally when saying- mocks transgender people it didn't it was just uh, South Park South Park I oh, know they sunk to new lows really I would never imagine that they would say anything my thing is, is like even having this conversation, uh, we talked before, I don't want to walk on eggshells, but I still kind of have to because you can't say anything anymore and it's kind of getting ridiculous. We're not like a super rated R, X rated show. I'm honestly trying not to swear as much. It's a little harder. But, you know, we, we, we're not babies about it, though. It doesn't matter to me. And yes, I'm not transgender or whatever the other, whatever the letters are, and, and that's probably going to get but whatever all that is, <laughs> I'm not that. So I, I don't understand your struggle or whatever. But I'm a human being. People's lives are hard. You're just making it worse for yourself by always being a damn target. It was a clever episode. It was ridiculous. But that's their thing is they do ridiculous things. When they made fun of wrestling, they literally made it a stage show. They said that little <laughs> nine-year-old girls had like 12 abortions. That girl's had 12 abortions and she ain't even a 10 yet. Like... Oh, where the hell is people all up in arms by that? Like, they're talking about a boy who th- they think is a girl who's a kid that's already had all these abortions. Like, who's getting upset about South Park anyways? It's like, the people who regularly watch it, I'm sure, are not getting... Well, they're not like... They didn't watch all these episodes and get to this one and go, Oh my god. How dare they? I'm do? writing an article about <coughs> this one. No, it's somebody that like doesn't <coughs> normally watch South Park, and they're like, "Oh, this episode's going to be about transgender. I'm going to watch it." And then I'm for everything. Yeah, and I'm already going to form an opinion. And I'm saying we're not saying this is the the uh, we're not just blaming this group for being this way. We're just talking about the culture in general, and we all everybody talks about it. They might not talk about it up front, but everybody talks about the PC culture and how much we all hate it. Now the thing is, is you just gotta. Do something about it. That's why we have this conversation. Because you shouldn't be so afraid to, to say how you feel. If you're like some awful racist, sexist, just some monster that can't be reasoned with. Okay, then shut the fuck up. No, sorry, mom. But you know what I mean? <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody cares about that. But if you have an opinion, like with South Park, yes, it might have been a little absurd. But in the grand scheme of things. And that's what kind of like smooths it out. Is that it is absurd. Like, right. They're not going to be like... Uh, they're not going to take like a really realistic scenario and be like, let's make something funny out of this. It's going right. to be something ridiculous like a guy joining a women's strong person competition. 
Right. You got cancel culture. You have these. You have stuff like that where people just immediately jump on a bandwagon. Now there are some people and things that deserve it. Oh yeah, like um, uh, what the hell is that? Weinstein. Apparently, yeah. all this, he's a monster. I mean, there are people who deserve it. Right. There, uh, but you, once you start taking it too far, it kills and dis- you know it ruins everything that was done the right way. Right. The, th- the thing that you're doing is you're making it harder for people to have legitimate gripes for things. Like, if with the, the trans community and, and, and all that, you have things that are legitimate gripes. I'm not saying you don't. South Park mocking how just insane it is that a man and a woman should compete together. Did you, you know what a lot of these articles did not talk about? The first thing that I mentioned, and it was that the boys make a board game group that the women are better than them at. And then, so you know what happens at the end of the episode? The girls challenge the man, that, or the, the person saying that he was a woman, to a board game, and the girls beat him. And it proves that, yes, there are certain things that men and women are better than each other at. It's not saying, like, oh, my God, no, like I said, too, Ronda Rousey, I could never fight her. There's women that are wit. I would never race. I would never, I don't know how to pole vault, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, it's just, I'm just putting it in there. There's, there's not, I'm not saying that I am better than every other woman, but the comparison is just, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> but it's just, it's like you got to stop being so worried about who you're gonna hurt and what you're gonna say, and especially but you probably you don't want to say. You probably don't want to always. Um, you don't want to associate. Have no, you probably don't want to always associate that with you though, because you're not a professional or probably very good at any of those things. Right. So, I mean, Ronda Rousey's a good fighter, and she could probably beat some of the men. Right. <laughs> or, but. If she got in a fight with Mike Tyson, he's going to just knock her head clean off. And that's yeah. not saying because... These days are young Mike Tyson. Well, not these days. Even these days. Have you seen him? I know. He's but no, a she's, a, she's a beast. He couldn't have the But she would... Though. Right. But I'm saying in a straight up fight. But you, I mean, one punch from Mike Tyson. I don't care who you are. That's the point. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fight. That's the point. Um, sorry, Mom. Yeah, your dad got that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm glad he's still with us. But yeah, all we're just saying is that yes, you should be, you should have a filter. You should be careful what you say, but not all the time. The whole like snowflake thing, I can't stand. Like Dave and I were talking about the iron snowflakes. We're gonna be the iron snowflakes. It's the ones that people that say you can't handle things, and that you give people like that more ammunition, and they don't need that. You don't need people just oh, we just can't handle anything. A lot of people can't, but that can't be your only argument because then it gives those people the right to say whatever they want, and then they just say you're being a baby about it. So we need to have some normalcy. We need to go back to the where you should be able to say how you feel, but if it's a, I mean, like we said, it's a completely derogatory race, so there's no basis behind it, then don't say it. Um, but you shouldn't be so worried about every little thing that you say. And 50% of this podcast does not watch South Park. So it's, that's, but, 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 but to but. me, that's like the country. Like, half the people that I talk to in my work, I see a lot of people at work. I was watching it before most people did. Right, we watched it before it was cool. I watched it in the seventh grade. That's when it came out. And not in the seventh grade, in like 2008. Like, when it first started. And it was just absolutely insane. Yeah, we didn't even have Comedy Central down here yet. Right. At least I didn't on Cox. Oh, we had it. Comedy Central yet. So I ended up watching uh, a bunch of it when I would go up to Pennsylvania to visit my grandparents. Right. Yeah, all we're just saying is it's a fantastic episode. The show is great. You should go back and watch it. And everybody, just stop being so damn... Get the thick skin. It's okay. Life's way harder than what people are going to say about you. It's not even thick skin. Just don't be ridiculous. Well, well I'm just saying, thick, if you're, if you're, it's paper mache now. Just get a little bit. Just be freaking construction paper thick. That's all I ask. <laughs> That's all I ask. Not be paper mache, be construction paper. Um, and we need to make that a shirt. Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, it's just about being strong. I can make a wristband about it. Strong um, like construction. Be strong paper. like construction paper. <laughs> Uh, don't be paper mache. Be construction. Construction paper. paper. That's you right. Build things out. That's of right. Them. Construction man or woman. Um, <laughs> we have that one both on the back, or we get shit, and that's the problem. It's construction worker. Construction person. Is what <laughs> I like to say. We're all people. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of running low on time. We got about two minutes left in the show. Uh, is there anything you wanted to get out? You want people to to watch or do or 
Um, no, I was just going to say, uh, we had a guest scheduled this week, and uh, he wasn't able to make it. He's from the band M99. His name's Sean. Uh, we've been friends a long time, but he wasn't able to make it this week. So we're going to have him, we're going to try and have him on again sometime down the road. Uh, next week, and the week after that, who knows. Yeah. Because um, we have a guest possibly lined up for yeah, we've I think already I guess got, we've already got someone possibly yeah. for next week so we have week. somebody for next week yeah. so maybe in two weeks we'll get him back on or we'll try to get him on maybe on the same show and just kind of squeeze him in because uh, we have a little bit more space now you know, since we moved up here and we're not kind of confined in my little area right got a backlog of Detroit uh, okay so Dale's got oh, a yeah. backlog of Detroit Become Human coming up soon um, so hopefully get that out and you guys will have a cool series to watch uh, we're going to be recording more, hopefully, through our YouTube and everything like that. Like I said, I'd like to get us a couple hours of content a week. Uh, and Sometime down the road, we're going to have our it's like a scripted show coming up. Yep, yep, we're working on that. Um, it's going to be a couple episodes. We're not really sure how many, but it'll be fun. So check that out. Yeah, we'll do, a, I mean, two or three maybe and see how it does. Yep, go to uh, Geek Up Culture on our Facebook if you haven't already. I don't know where you're listening to this because we're going to put these up on all this stuff. So Geek Up Culture on Facebook. You can go to youtube.com slash G33K Culture. Uh, you can get me at the G33K Culture at gmail.com for any sponsorship or questions or anything you might have, concerns, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then just check us out on all the social media stuff. We're going to be getting on Instagram more and Twitter and all that jazz. So thank you for checking us out. Uh, this has been the Geek Culture Podcast. My name is Jason. And I'm Paul. Thank you for joining us. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye.